Bradford. Van Vliet turns, fires, good! Freddie Van Vliet, bet on yourself as he drills it! Fred Van Fleet was born in Rockford, Illinois, when Fred Manning and Susan Van Fleet welcomed a bouncing baby boy on February 25, 1994. He has two brothers, Darnell and JD. Van Fleet and his family stayed in a not-so-great part of town where crime was rampant. When Fred was five, his dad was shot and killed in a drug bus gone wrong. Susan ended up remarrying Joe Danforth, who was a police officer. And then Fred's eighth-grade teammate was shot in the neck. His stepdad was on duty and watched him bleed to death. Joe was tough on the kids because he didn't want them suffering the same fate. Career Van Fleet remains one of the unsung stars in the NBA today after he was voted to his first NBA All-Star game in 2022. He became the first undrafted player to earn such an honor in 16 years since Ben Wallace did it back in 2006. But it wasn't just last year that Van Fleet had a star caliber season. He's been at it for a while now. After playing in the shadows in Toronto behind stars like Kyle Lowry and DeMar DeRozan, Fred came of age in the 2018-19 season when he got the call up to play heavier minutes. And Van Fleet really swung on the opportunity. He made a name for himself in the 2019 NBA playoffs when he played arguably the best stretch of basketball. Fred took off the day after his son was born in May of 2019. From that point on until the last finals game the Raptors played against the Golden State Warriors, Van Fleet reeled off an eight-game stretch averaging nearly 17 points. That included one of the greatest performances ever by an undrafted player in the closeout game six of the finals. Van Fleet poured in 22 points and converted five of 11 three-pointers. And how about some of the shot making he put on display down the stretch of the ball game that helped deliver Toronto their first title in franchise history. In fact, Van Fleet played so well that he even received votes for finals MVP over his superstar teammate Kawhi Leonard. Think about that. An undrafted player received votes for being the best player through a finals series. It didn't happen, but it's incredible to point out nonetheless. And that performance lit the fire under Van Fleet and helped launch his career to even greater heights. Van Fleet became a starter after that season and averaged career highs across the board, and only continued that trend as he progressed as a full-time starter. A year and a half later, Van Fleet again made history when he scored 54 points in February against the Orlando Magic, the most points scored by an undrafted player in the history of the game. In fact, Moses Malone had the long-standing record of 53 points way back in 1982. Should I mention that that performance was the greatest scoring outburst in Raptors franchise history? And there have been a whole lot of stars that have come and gone in a Raptors uniform. The last two years, he's averaged 20 points per game, and Van Fleet is looking to continue that trend. Now, let's see how Fred stacks that bread. Contracts Van Fleet's career thus far has been the epitome of the age-old, started from the bottom, now we're here. At just 22 years old entering the NBA from Wichita State, Van Fleet signed a two-year deal worth a little over a million. After seeing improvement and showing flashes of stardom, Toronto upped the offer to two years and 18 million. Two years later, he proved his worth and played all-star caliber ball. The Raptors rewarded Van Fleet with a long-term extension worth four years and $85 million and committed to him as the face of their franchise. That's an average of about $21 million per year. That right there is just a quick snapshot of what Van Fleet has meant to a franchise that's become notorious for being unable to retain stars. Van Fleet is Toronto, and they love him. And now, after his first All-Star appearance, there is probably going to be plenty more where that came from. Let's just say Van Fleet has a huge payday lined up for him when his contract expires in 2024, or even sooner. Get that paper, baby. Shoe Deal After his impressive title run, the recognition continued to roll for Fred. As a result, he signed a multi-year contract with And One, becoming the face of the rising sneaker brand as one of the most recognizable athletes in all of Canadian sports. 
He started his career wearing Nike and Adidas, but now he is at the forefront of his own signature shoe deal. Van Fleet's signature shoes features the Attack 2.0 line. The shoe line has several colorways and additions to his name, including the Jurassic Park editions. Fred then opted to sign with Li Ning. The Chinese shoe brand has come up a lot on our videos as they have signed many players away from the traditional brands. They've launched the Fred Van Fleet Speed Series. We like the Speed 8 and there are plenty of other cool additions out there. Talk about creating your own path. Now let's see how Fred spends that paper. Cars. Before Van Fleet's big payday, he drove a white Audi A7 he got back in his second season. But when he landed his big extension, it was time to take it up a few notches. So Van Fleet went for the Mercedes Maybach, a top favorite among celebrities because of the performance, luxury, and status it brings with it. He bought the car just recently and now can get to the games in more swagger. Fashion Mogul as a reflection of his bet on yourself motto and his consistent style game, Fred launched his accessories and apparel shop called FBV. His shop sells bottoms, accessories, apparel, hoodies, crewnecks, and outerwear. The styles are so cool and casual, you can look them up on FBVshop.com. Looking clean. Charity. Fred has partnered with Penny Appeal Canada because he believes in what they're about. Van Fleet said, the work that they do aligns with the reasons I give back. I want to give back not just as a band-aid fix, but to lift them out of their tough situations which we don't know about. Penny Appeal Canada had already distributed 3,000 backpacks across Canada and increased their total by another thousand after connecting with Fred. He fulfilled his promise to his community by giving out 300 backpacks that were customized by Toronto artist Casey Bannerman. They featured Van Fleet's face and his motto, Bet on Yourself, a reminder to kids to have faith in their own capabilities. Love Life Fred Van Fleet and Shantae Neal have two kids and have been together so long that you would think they were married a long time ago. The two met back in high school when Fred was a standout hooper and Shantae was a standout student. They have a daughter that was born in 2018 and a year later their son was born. Back in early 2022, Van Fleet and Shantae finally decided to commit by announcing their engagement early in February. Shantae wrote an Instagram post to share the happy news. I said yes. I'm literally the happiest girl in the world right now. It feels so surreal to finally be marrying my best friend and soulmate of 12 years. Even Drake gave a shout out. My twin on a roll this week. Congrats, family. No info on the wedding date yet, but this couple is just getting started. Real quick, we wanted to give a shout out to Richard Gentry. Thanks for supporting us big time hoop style. If you engage in the comments or community posts, you'll be eligible for a shout out. Then the basketball gods will bless you. Net worth, four years of college, undrafted, to finals hero and NBA champion. What a ride it's been for him so far. He embraced the bet on yourself mentality and made a heck of a career out of it. With everything going on in his life, Fred Van Fleet has a net worth of $20 million. And there's plenty more where that came from.